guys, I'm back to my other video. So this is gonna be the very long-awaited Q&A that I said I was gonna do like months ago. Like I first asked for questions for a Q&A video like on my like beach sunset look, which was like so long ago. But I kind of needed a break from doing the prom makeup. I figured you guys would like a break as well since that's basically all I've been uploading for the last like probably month and a half because that's all I've been kind of focused on. But I wasn't in the mood to film one today, so I'm gonna film a Q&A instead. So I asked you guys on Snapchat and Instagram and the YouTube questions from prior what you guys would like to know about me. So here are the questions. So this is from Megan. She asked me 10 different questions can't hold up my hands. Ten different questions. She's followed me for a long time so I'm sure she's got lots of things to ask about me and my weirdness. Uh, her first question, which was also asked by uh, this person, I don't want to pronounce her username wrong, on Snapchat she asked kind of the same question. Uh, her first question was, if you dye your hair again, what color or colors would it be? And then the other girl also asked my favorite type of hair dye. Um, I haven't used that many types of hair dye because if you guys have been watching my channel for a while I've only really like dyed my whole head of hair like twice. The first time I used um, Manic Panic colors for some of them and this time I used Pravana colors. So I obviously prefer the Pravana simply because they're salon brand so they stay a lot better than the Manic Panic colors. But I would love to try the Arctic Fox brand as well. I've seen amazing results from their hair color and, it la and it's supposed to last like ages. So I would like to try their hair colors next. Um, as for what colors I'm going to do next, I honestly, I've, obviously I'm going to dye my hair again because like it's getting pretty, pretty rooty at this point. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what colors I'm going to do next. I'm trying to decide if I want to stay with these colors or if I want to do something totally different. I have like a whole album of photos in my phone saved of just like... You should stay with those ones because they glow in the dark. Oh yeah, April is sitting over there too. She says, oh yeah, and these colors actually glow in the dark, like this green color. I was at a black light party and the colors actually glow in the dark. <laughs> so I might stay with these colors. I might go with something completely different. We're not going to know until I finally like make the appointment and go change it. <laughs> Her second question was, what is your favorite anime? I've only watched one anime and that's Hitalia because April recommended it to me. So it's hilarious. <laughs> I got to meet the guy who plays Germany. He's great and I love him. So yeah, that would be my favorite because it's the only one that I've watched. Um, number three, what does your dream house look like? My dream house, if I could build it from like top to bottom, would probably be on a beach because I love being near the water and on the beach and watching the sunset every day. It would probably be near a beach. It would probably be pretty big and open and spacious and all very like modern and or or steampunk themed. I think a whole like house like steampunk themed would be really super cool. So probably one of those and I would have like a whole room dedicated to like makeup, like to my makeup stuff and a whole room dedicated for like filming videos and stuff and I think it would be a pretty cool house to be honest. Uh, question four, what is your favorite animal? My favorite animals are wolves, dolphins and otters. Which are very weird combinations of animals, but... Uh, five, she asks, Do you roll or crumple toilet paper? And I crumple because I ain't got no time to be sitting there rolling toilet paper. I'm trying to be in and then be out again. <laughs> uh, six, what is your favorite meal of the day? All the meals. <laughs> I love food. I love eating. I love everything. Yeah, the fattest. <laughs> I even work in a kitchen. I love cooking, so all of the food, all of the meals. <laughs> but like least favorites would probably be breakfast because I don't really like eggs, so breakfast mostly is about eggs, so least favorite probably breakfast. Question number eight, have you ever played any sports? I played soccer and I did gymnastics when I was like super, 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 super little, and I played volleyball in badminton. I played volleyball in junior high for a year or two. I played badminton for four years in grade, from grade uh, 9 through 12. And then I was a competitive swimmer for five and a half years. For anyone that knows competitive swimming, my favorite strokes were butterfly backstroke, in case anyone cares. Uh, number nine, do you like the knee-high socks and booty shorts look? 
Um, Who the fuck doesn't? It's so hot. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know why you wouldn't like it. It's pretty attractive, especially if you got, like, a nice butt. Like, booty shorts are meant to accentuate the butt, so... Like, I've worn it before. I wear it a lot in the summertime, actually. So... I usually wear high-waisted shorts, but... Same difference. And then... Her tenth was, describe your worst date. I've only technically... I've had, like, five or six boyfriends, but I've only ever been on, like four or five dates, so none of them have really been bad. They've all kind of been... whatever. <laughs> Next question is from Miranda. She's also on YouTube. These are her questions. What is your dream job? What side of the family do you get your pretty eyes from? And then, out of YouTube and your videos, um, do you feel the exact same happiness and joy? I think she... I... Uh, okay. My dream job, honestly, would be to do makeup or sing, but like to be a singer, but I can't sing, so like that's not, I don't think about that. But my dream job right now, honestly, is to be a makeup artist, because that's what I like full, like wholeheartedly enjoy doing. So that's what I want to do. That would be my dream job. If I can get to a place where I'm able to make money full time doing it, I will be happy. My eyes come kind of from my dad's side. Uh, my mom's got green eyes, and my dad has really light blue eyes, so my eyes come from his side of the family, even though my eyes are kind of more of a blue-gray color sometimes. They're not exactly like his. His are very, like, almost like husky blue, whereas mine are quite more, like, they're a little bit darker and they're more gray most of the time. For the last part of the question, I'm not entirely sure what it means, because I, I, like, yeah. But I think, like, if you ask me if YouTube makes me happy and stuff, like, of course it does. Like, I'm doing what I love to do, at, like, all the time for my videos and getting to share it with people. So, obviously, that makes me quite happy. And when people enjoy the videos and enjoy me as a person, obviously, that makes me feel good and makes me want to do it more. Uh, next question comes from Ariana's Kitten Ears. She asks, if you could do only one makeup look for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, and then she says, by the way, I love you, gorgeous. I love you, too. Honestly, if I had to pick just one makeup look to do the rest of my life, I probably would just pick to never wear makeup anymore. Because, as you guys know, my makeup changes every day. Literally every single day I do different makeup. I never ever wear the same look more than once. Well, I probably have in some ways, but like I always change something. So, honestly, if I had to pick one, I probably would just pick to never wear makeup ever again. Because I would just be happier that way than trying to sit there and pick just one look. Um, next person, the username is Hey I Muffin. she asks, what is your favorite brush? Looking at my makeup brushes over on my, like, side area, the brush I use the most is probably my Real Techniques, like, domed brush, like the one with the purple handle you guys have all seen. I, that's probably my favorite one because I use it every day without fail, all the time. It's always getting used for something, so probably that one, and I've had that one probably almost the longest out of all my brushes, and it's still good and in pretty good quality, or pretty, pretty good condition after a lot of abuse. So, probably that one. I don't know how to pronounce this person's name either, so I'm just gonna write it right here. Um, she asked, what's your favorite makeup brand? Um, for like, cheaper makeup, I would probably have to say Morphe brushes because they're, as you guys have seen in my videos, I use at least one of their products in literally every single video because their eyeshadows are very good quality for a very cheap price. Higher end makeup, probably Urban Decay because I find like most high end brands really are not good with bright colors. They always kind of cater to the norm. They cater to like, you know, um, like neutrals and stuff. They have lots of neutrals and lots of things that I just don't really like. Urban Decay is the brand that always has come through for me when it comes to bright colors from like a higher quality or a higher price range. So I'll probably have to pick them. Or Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks and the rest of his products I can already, I already know are gonna be amazing. So I love his brand as well because I love him as a human being. I don't know how to pronounce this person. I don't want to pronounce this and get it wrong either. So I'll put it right here. Um, they ask, what's your favorite chip flavor? My favorite chip flavor is probably, like, sour cream and onion because those are the ones I always kind of gravitate towards. Um, and then the last Instagram question is from, um, smh underscore Haley. What do you like to do outside of YouTube other than makeup? Um, I don't know because I don't really do that much stuff. Like, 
I have <laughs> I have some friends and stuff that I hang out with every once in a while. I I work a lot. Like I work at least five days a week in a uh, kitchen as a line cook. So I obviously enjoy doing that. I enjoy cooking. Um, I also enjoy watching Criminal Minds. I'm currently working on watching every single season of Criminal Minds. I'm currently on season two. I think I have three episodes of season two left. So I do that a lot in my spare time. Um, two more questions left from Snapchat. The first one is from a girl that I forgot to screenshot her username. So I will put it right here because I forgot to screenshot it. Uh, she asked if I go to college. I currently do not go to college. I graduated high school at this time last year. Um, obviously because it's grad season. But I start college in Vancouver to be a makeup artist in September. So yeah, I'm very excited for that. Uh, I will be moving there in August, actually. Would you guys like to see some videos on that? Or would you like to see like... She's abandoning me. <laughs> Guess what, bitches? No more sibling tags. <laughs> um, yeah, would you guys like, like to see me moving my stuff? Like, obviously I'll probably do an apartment tour or like a area I'm living to or once I get all settled in. Would you guys like to see some videos on that? Like if I end up having like tips at the end, would that be something you guys would like to see? I don't know. Let me leave me a comment. And the very last question which I saved for last on purpose because I have a lot to say about this one is from I want to say her username is Shailene underscore head. I think I'll leave it again. I'll leave every username here so that y'all can do whatever. Um, and her question was, advice on how to build self-confidence. And she says, by the way, I love you. And I'm like, I love you too. So my advice on how to build self-confidence. I actually have been meaning to make an entire video on this because it's a question I get a lot. And obviously our society, the way it has been the last little while, it seems like Everyone is supposed to feel insecure about themselves like I have noticed in the last little while It seems like everyone is insecure about something Like for no reason like they're insecure about things that they're not they don't need to be insecure about like I've seen people that are insecure about what their vagina looks like and I'm like It's a vagina. They're never pretty it's, like it's, it's a, a it's their genitals the only people that are gonna be looking at it aren't judging it on its appearance. They're like, I want to stick something in that, whether it be whatever. When you are confident in the way you look and the way you are and the way you act, it shows. People can see it. People, like, I get, I've been asked this a few times if, like, this ties into, like, do I wear this makeup out in public? I wear this on all the time. Every time I go out in public, I get a plethora of weird looks. People stare at me, I've even seen people stare at me and then turn around and probably say something about me behind my back and I can guarantee you that none of them are positive things. I can guarantee you 110% that those people are talking shit about me. But, I this is what I always tell myself. If I'm ever having a bad day where I don't feel as confident in my appearance, I always tell myself, I convince myself that what they're saying is positive. If I see someone give me a funny look, instead of in my head thinking, oh no, they're judging me, oh no, they think I look weird, I flip it in my head and I'm like, no, they're saying, I was like, they're jealous because I look so much better than them. They're jealous because they know they could never rock what I'm wearing. They, I was like, they're jealous that they can never ever look as cool as I do. And you would not believe how much better it makes you feel about stuff. You couldn't, like, it, it's, it's astonishing what just that little bit of mental, like, that little bit of, like, just that mental boost that you can kind of give yourself gives you the most amount of confidence. Every single time I get a look like that, I, that's exactly what I think. I have started to train my brain to automatically think that way. So looks that people give me don't bother me because my brain, instead of going, oh no, they think I look weird, or oh no, maybe I shouldn't have looked like this, maybe I should look normal, I tell myself, no, they're jealous. They wish they could look like me. And it makes you feel so much better about yourself. So my true, true advice to someone that's trying to be confident in who they are and trying to be happy with the way they look is to do that. Screw this, like, people say to stand in the mirror every day and tell yourself you look good. It only works if you believe it. If you don't believe that you look good and you look beautiful and you look handsome, 
it doesn't matter if you can tell it to yourself 10,000 times but if you don't believe it it's never gonna mean anything it's never going to change who you are it's never going to make an impact so my advice from someone that looks different I get weird looks every day that is my advice so when you someone sees you or someone like you hear someone talking shit about you or you see someone giving you a weird look just you have to train yourself to think positive. You've got to train yourself. Tell yourself that those people are jealous of you because of the way you look. It helps so much. I know it's going to be hard. It is hard to get yourself to that point where you can be happy with who you are and you can be confident. Whether you think that you need to lose weight or you need to gain weight. You need to wear makeup to feel beautiful. You don't want to wear makeup. You don't know how to do it. You, all these things that people think about themselves every day, the things that make them insecure, if you can convince yourself that that's not true and you can convince yourself that people are jealous of you because of the way you look, but if you believe it, that's all that matters and it will make you confident, it will make you happy to be who you are because that's all I've ever wanted from anybody. Because, like, for myself, I want to be happy in who I, with, like, with who I am. I want to make good decisions and be someone, not necessarily that people can look up to, because that's not what I do YouTube for. I'm not here to be, you know, someone that people should take advice from. I don't want people to be like me. I'm, you know, I'm quite different. And people that don't know how to deal with the looks... It hurts. So, like, I know it hurts. So, I've had a few people tell me they wish they could be like me, and I don't want you guys to be like me. I want you guys to be you, because you are an individual, and you need to be the best person that you can be. See? I'm not going into camera view here, so you're just gonna have to stare at my sister's face. As someone who has super low self-esteem, it's not fucking easy to just like what Haley's saying is true and it does work but I just it's okay to slip up like it, it's yeah I was getting to that <laughs> uh, yeah okay I've been doing it for you though it's like it and it, like that, that might seem weird to say but it is okay to have like just those days where you feel like shit it's part of being human you can't feel on top of the world every single day I know Haley has those days like it just happens and you just kind of gotta deal with it I know it sucks as like it's it sucks ass, it really does, but, you know, you're just gonna have to have those days. And it's okay, it's part of being human. Yeah, everyone, but like, I was just about to get to that. Obviously you can't be 100% confident in who you are every single day, because it just doesn't work like that. As hard as it might be for some of you to believe, there are days where I am not confident in the way I look. There are some days where I just would rather sit in my bed and be alone because I just don't feel like going out. I don't feel like people seeing me. Whether it be because I feel really bloated from whatever and I feel really gross and I don't want to go outside. Or some days I get really bad acne and really bad breakouts and I don't want people to see that. I don't want to go outside and have people see that because it's not... It doesn't help me. Like I don't want people to think that of me. As long as the days that you feel unconfident or the days that you feel confident vastly outnumber the days that you don't feel confident, being, there are days where you're not going to feel confident and that's fine. But I think at least 85% of the time you should feel confident in who you are because it helps you in so many ways. Having confidence to be who you are, whether it's, you know, someone that looks kind of like me that's got colorful hair and experiments with makeup and has all this fun with like clothing and stuff or you know you're someone that doesn't wear makeup you're someone that has natural hair you're someone you know you don't have to look like me to be confident in who you are as long as you're happy with who you are that's all that really matters also like, your friends are the greatest resource you can have when yes. one of my friends is like wow you look so pretty i'm like Thank you. That's so Surrounding sweet. yourself with people that are going to make you happy is so important. If you are surrounded by people that make you feel insecure and make you feel upset or sad about life, they are not important. You do not need them in your life. I don't care what your excuse is. They are not good for you. And if you can get away from them, 
I advise it so much. If bitches be talking shit about your weight or if they make really like snide comments like those really like those really fucking stupid ones like hey like oh did you lose weight? I hate those. Or it's like oh are you sure you should be eating that? First of all, punch Fuck that bit punch that bitch <laughs> in the tit. And if it's a dude, I don't even know. Punch him in his urethra. And then just be like, bye Felicia. People that cause negative energy around you are not good people to be around. And if you can get away from them, I so highly advise you to get away from them because they will not help you in any way. Even if you think they will, I really challenge anyone to take a step back and think about any ways they've actually helped you through any... Like, if they actually make you feel happy and make you feel better about yourself. If you even question it, they're not worth your time because every single one of you, the, you know, 20,000 of you that are subscribed to me and any other person that watches this, you are worth so much more than having to deal with people that don't make you happy around them or being around them doesn't make you happy. There are, you know, seven point some billion people in this whole world. There are people out there that will accept you for who you are and they will be happy to be around you and to be with you and spend time with you. Sometimes it takes us a long time to see that and understand that as human beings. It took me a long time to... Because, like, I've always been confident in who I am, but there was a time that I did go through where I wasn't confident that other people would accept me for who I am. I was not insecure in myself, but I was insecure that people wouldn't... Not that, not even that people that wouldn't like me, people that just wouldn't like the way I look, people that wouldn't like the way I am, because I think I'm kind of weird. Like, I openly admit to being weird and being kind of out there. And there was a very long period of time where I was in a relationship with someone simply because I thought that I couldn't find anyone better. I thought I wouldn't be able to find someone that would accept me for who I was. And... It took me almost a year to truly realize that that's fucking dumb. Like, there are, again, seven point some billion people in the world. There's someone out there that will accept you for who you are. Whether they be female, male, gender fluid, no gender, whatever. They will accept you for who you are. They're, whether they, you know, live on the other side of the country, whether they live next door, there will always be someone. And... Having that hope really does help, like it, you know, it makes everything a lot easier to have the hope that, you know, you'll find someone that's going to accept you for who you are. Ugh, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> so this is probably the longest and un most unnecessary answer to your question, but to sum it all up, please be confident in who you are. Be happy being an individual because you are special and you are worth more than anything else out there. So if you're feeling con or you're feeling bad about yourself one day, just try to tell yourself if people are looking at you, people are making fun of you for who you are and who you're trying to be, then convince yourself that be that they are jealous. I know it sounds crazy, but it really truly does work. And I want Every one of you out there that has ever struggled with self-confidence to just try it and tell me that it doesn't work. Tell me that you don't feel better knowing that someone's jealous of your appearance. It truly helps and I want, you know, I want all of you to try it any time that you feel sad about the way you look or who you are. Just please, just for me. And I just, because I just want all of you guys to be happy. That's, I don't even know any of you. Personally, I know... I think four or five people that have subscribed to me, but that's not the point. I just want everyone to be happy because everyone deserves to be happy. Everyone deserves to be confident in who they are and live life to the fullest extent that they possibly could live it. So yeah, that would be my advice to anyone that needs help with their self-confidence. And I hope this helped anybody that was struggling with it. Also. I've had a few people tell me that I've inspired them and like I don't think you guys realize how much that truly warms my heart because 
all I do on YouTube is do stuff that I enjoy. I try to be different because that's just who I am. I've never been one to follow the crowd. I mean, there was a time in my life where I did, but then I realized that I don't like doing that, and I realized that that's boring, and I don't like that. So I started doing YouTube videos for the hope of being able to show people that you can be different and be happy. You can do things that are not normal. You can be weird and you can look different. Just because you have the freedom to do so, you don't have to look like everyone else just because that's the way everyone else looks. So to anyone that's ever said that to me, I wholeheartedly thank you because it makes my day anytime anyone's ever said it to me. And right now, like, even thinking about it, it's making me, like, tear up a little bit because obviously I didn't start this channel to be inspiring. I didn't start it to, you know, try and help people. I just did it because it was fun and that's what I enjoy doing. But hearing that just being me inspires somebody is just amazing. Like, it... The, it's undescribable the way that it makes you feel so thank you to anyone that's ever said that to me because it truly does mean a lot and I do see all of your comments on everything so again thank you very much um I might make a whole video on all this it would probably be a lot of repeating myself but if you guys would like to see a whole entire video about it where I try and like plan some of it out a little bit better uh leave me a comment and I can definitely do that at some point in life but that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some more questions in the description if you guys want to make want me to make a Q&A part 2 because obviously I would love to do that if that's what you guys would like to see. Um, all the links to my social media and stuff will be in the description as well if you would like to follow me on anything and creep me in my everyday life. Uh, but I think that's about it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!